welcome everybody to Yosemite National Park. I ain't never felt the kind of love like this before. You took all the worries from my mind. Darling, please forgive me if I stay a little more. My friend and I completed an epic 45 kilometer hike around the incredible Yosemite Valley. I'm going to share this amazing journey with you after my quick intro video. G'day mate, my name is Ollie and I absolutely love the great outdoors. I go scuba diving, hiking and camping, care for two rescued dingoes and travel the world looking for new places to explore and even get to make new friends along the way. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe because I would absolutely love for you to join me on my adventures right here on Intrepid World. This animation is a rough representation of the hike that my friend and I completed around Yosemite Valley in just under 11 and a half hours. We combined elements from five different hikes to complete this grand adventure. We began our journey at the top of Glacier Point and made our way down the four mile trail. The Four Mile Trail had stunning views of the valley below and its surrounding stone crucible. My mate and I continued down the mountain until we reached the Valley Loop Trail. This section of trail took us to three major landmarks that I wanted to see. The first one being Bridal Vale Falls. This is the stunning waterfall that you see from the Tunnel View Lookout. After seeing this impressive waterfall, we made our way across the river to El Capitan, the location of Alex Honnold's amazing free solo, and I just wanted to climb a small section of it. You're almost there, bro. Yeah, I've already been to the top. I'm on my way back down now. Well done. <laughs> New world record. <laughs> Watching the National Geographic documentary about Alex Free Solo was riveting, but standing at the base of that incredible granite wall is something else. It filled me with emotion as I asked the question, how on earth did Alex actually climb it? It truly was a gravity defying feat. This meadow is absolutely incredible. Tell me where in the world you've ever walked across a meadow like this with a view like that in the background. That is incredible. After being absolutely bamboozled by Alex's incredible feet, we continued along the Valley Loop Trail until we reached Curry Village where we stopped at Village Grill for a feed and an ice cream best soft serve ice cream in the whole world, calling it, it's awesome. After having a feed, we checked out the popular Yosemite Falls. Mm -hmm. 
This waterfall stands 2,425 feet or 739 meters tall and consists of three main parts. The upper falls, the middle cascade, and the lower falls. Eventually we made our way over to the John Murr Trail and the Mist Trail. These two sections of track took us all the way up to Vernal Falls, the Silver Apron and Nevada Falls. Vernal Falls is simply spectacular. Get a little buddy. <laughs> The silver apron was beautiful. If Vernal Falls is spectacular, then Nevada Falls is phenomenal. The last leg of our hike was along the Panorama Trail. This 45 km loop trail that my mate and I completed was a challenge, but it is possible to do in a day for anyone with a medium level of fitness and decent endurance. I can say this with a pretty high level of confidence because I was trying to film a YouTube video throughout the course of this day, so I was stopping quite a bit to take some footage. My mate and I also stopped to have a swim in the river, and we spent about an hour at Curry Village having a feed, checking out the museum, and also going to see Yosemite Falls. To make up for lost time spent while I was video recording and taking photographs, also to make up for lost time at Curry Village at the souvenir shops etc, we did jog a little bit and this graphic from my Garmin shows those red sections where we were moving a bit faster. The back of Half Dome. I tried to get a ticket to go up there, a permit. I entered the lottery but unfortunately I didn't get a pass and when I organized my trip to come to the USA it was already past the official application for permits. I think they open up in like late February through March and I didn't plan this trip until like April so I'd already missed that. So I tried to get a permit two days ago, entered the lottery but I didn't get it unfortunately. But there it is. Well everybody, this is it. This is where I'm going to close out this video. Car park's just up there behind me. But look at this view, absolutely spectacular. I've got Half Dome behind me, Vernal Falls in the foreground, Nevada Falls in the background, 
and I must say after doing this hike today I I think that uh, Yosemite has the best hike in the world it was absolutely spectacular best hike I've ever done that brings us to the end of this video please join me for my next one right here on YouTube and until then enjoy life have a great time go have an adventure see ya